An ABC News contributor and former State Department official Steve Gannier joins me live now for more on this. Steve, President Biden has received some criticism for not bringing Paul Whelan home and for trading an arms dealer for an athlete. But former President Trump now says that he turned down a proposed deal with Russia that would have traded Victor Boot for Paul Whelan. So what do you make of that? Yeah, I guess we don't know the circumstances. We don't know why former President Trump turned him down. But I think we also need to understand that this is an apples and oranges comparison, Diane. Uh, uh, Brittany Griner was not held hostage during the Trump administration. And so uh, Brittany Griner uh, came into the uh, into the picture here uh, quite conveniently. Uh, I, I won't go so far to say that the Russians deliberately targeted her, uh, but they really didn't like the trade of Whalen for Boot. Uh, and the reason there is because they see Whalen as a spy Boot was just sort of a, a, a functionary for the various uh, Russian intelligence agencies, but not a direct spy. So uh, could have been that they said, we need somebody to grab to be able to negotiate for Boot. We don't want to give up Whalen. Uh, and so unfortunately, Brittany Griner was the target. So with Brittany Griner now, are there details that U.S. officials are, are going to want to get from Griner that can maybe be useful in the future? Yeah, I don't think so. I, th I think that basically she was held, uh, you know, incommunicado, re re uh, pr pretty much incommunicado. And so I think it's going to be very difficult for them to do to deduce anything about Russian MO here. She was a pawn. Uh, the Russians played her quite well. They got the much better end of the deal. Uh, but but thankfully, she is home. And uh, uh, the real concern here, Diane, is that this probably will not be the last time that we see hostages taken because Russians always want to be able to have something to negotiate because there's always a Russian spy that's getting getting caught somewhere. Now, do you think the negotiations for Brittany Griner's release could help form some kind of a blueprint or help at all in negotiating the release of Paul Whelan or, or anyone else detained overseas? Yeah, I, I wish that were the case, but I don't think that's the case right now. Remember that the, the Russians um, didn't want to give up two for one. So they didn't want to give up Griner and Whelan just for Victor Boot. They were asking for a Russian who is in a German prison for assassinating a Chechen rebel uh, in a park in broad daylight uh, in, in Berlin a couple of years ago. And the, the Germans obviously weren't ready to give him up because they see him just as a murderer, not as a spy. So it wouldn't be a spy for spy swap. So uh, I think the problem here in the negotiation is that the Russians have not talked about who they want in exchange for Whelan. Uh, and so there, it, things are at a bit of an impasse until the Russians find out some person uh, or something that they want from the U.S. that would be an appropriate trade uh, in their mind for uh, giving up Paul Whelan. All right, Steve Ganyer, we appreciate the analysis as always. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.